Casting live. Players won't be able to rely on the crowd for support. There's just not that many of them. I'm joined by my accomplice in primetime, Matthew Richardson. What a game we've got today, Dan. There's really been a big build-up for this clash. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. We have the toss of the coin. The Blues winning the toss. I think it's more than fate that is dragging these two teams reluctantly down the ladder. Thankfully though, they're evenly matched, so it could be a tight game. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. The game has commenced. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits, and then you've got to have the courage to blow past them. Saad sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Ball up in the centre square. Lewenberger gets the tap. Murphy with the tap. Kicked by Lobie. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Jones kicks. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Boots it. Over the top of the pack. Jams it on the boot. Lewenberger with the mark. He brings it out of the pack. The mark is taken by Danaher. 65 metres out. Going for goal number one. Marks. March back with the kick. He wins the contest. 45 metres out. Choose to kick it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 25 metres out. Fantasia going for number one. The Bombers get a goal. All is in readiness. Cruiser taps. Lang gets it on the bounce. He spears the ball. Takes that one strongly. Goddard gets it on the bounce. Taken by Kerno. Stabs the ball. Takes that one strongly. Puts boot to ball. Lewenberger looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Lewenberger seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Sending it on its way. He gets it under pressure. That kick has covered a very long distance. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. He kicks it, gun barrel strike, Fantasia with his second goal. The Bombers have scored the last two goals. Pressure already being applied to the Blues. Lewenberger with a big fist on it. McKinnon with no time to delay with that kick. Levy guides it. Deft touch from Kerno. Smith decisively jams it on the boot. I think he just wants attention. Fantasia, time to emphasize there are no secrets to a handball. Interception. Hippel handballs it to the open paddock. Hippel with the tap. Has it now. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Lewenberger aiming for the goals. That was a huge kick. Malcolm Blight would be happy with that one. That's three in a row for Essendon. The Blues will have to start putting in some effort if they want a chance in this game. Cruiser can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Goddard hits it, Danaher gathers it. Strong mark there. Fantasia goes for goal. Rowe taps it. Levy can passes it. Silvani with a big thumb to McDonald, Tiffin Woody. 
McDonald to Woody. Just makes the goal line. This kick puts them further into the lead. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Phillips with the mighty fist. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He grabbed nothing but air. Kicks. Great mark under pressure. 45 meters out. Simpson aiming for the goals. Nice work from Simpson. Carlton had their first goal. Simpson has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Big leap. Lucky bounce collected. McKenna keeps it alive with the foot. Tapped like Muller. Got out decisively. The umpire calls advantage. Takes possession. Choose to kick it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kicks hurriedly. Lucky bounce collected. He gives the ball away. Good drop punt by Bagley. Strong mark. Lewenberger, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Fantasia goes for goal. The goal for Essendon. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Phillips without a touch. The clearance by Cartley. The bouncing ball is controlled. Slams it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Cherno going for number one. Perfect kick. Cherno sinking his first goal. The Blues are still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams blow more leads than Inspector Clouseau. Phillips with the first touch. Jones with the football. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. The contest, no match for him. 40 metres out. Cherno whacks one on the boot for goal. Gets the distance. Carlton have scored the last two goals. They're gathering some steam now. Good tap from Phillips. Pipple comes away with the ball. Gains possession. Deep aims for his man on the ground. Kolyak trimming the grass with that kick. Got a one out in the square. Great mark under pressure. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Blues forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Trips, boots it, strong mark there. Kicks it. Nice work from Bagley. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. He slams that on the boot. Silvani marks the ball. Choose to kick it. Great mark. Kicks beyond the wing. A great effort. Not a very good kick. He takes an uncontested mark. Puts boot to ball. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. We'll get a ball in. The Rucks are going at it. Hartley aims for his man on the ground. Let's take a brief look at the stats. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Both the players have received their instructions and they're ready to start play again. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. Baglick just stopping for a quick dance. Jams it on the boot now. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Going for goal number one. Score for the Bombers. Essendon by three goals. McGrath has so much potential, he could just be anything. Tapped by Cruiser. Goddard comes away with the ball. Bagley with the football. Nice drop punt. The mark is taken by McDonald. Tip and Woody works it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. Levy with a long kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Jones with the kick. Great mark. Cripps is very clever when dealing with tags. He loves taking heavier taggers that lack pace into space where a foot race becomes important. Coaches just love players like him. It's in the air. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. He slams that on the boot. He claims the ball. 
Bagley sends one up towards the wing. A great effort. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Mullet with the kick. Nice mark under pressure. Here's a long kick. McDonald tipping Woody. Over the top. Low spearing kick. Pipple puts it on the boot. A big run to take that mark. Kicked by Marchbank. Nice hands. Sylvanic slams it on the boot. Nice hands. Right. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. He boots it. Ambrose drops the ball. Puts boot to ball. Simpson with the mark. He boots it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. 40 metres out. Lang takes aim for goals. Nice goal from Lang. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Tapped by Cruiser. Squeezes out a handball. Cripps collects it. He's a ball magnet. That ball's travelling. Snatches at it and drops it. He's as twitchy as a frog in a blender. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Jen Oak setting his sights on the goals. He's on a 30 degree angle. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. The Blues can still catch up here. They're less than a goal down. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Kruzik decisively takes possession. He picks up the loose ball. Cripps clearly doesn't get enough attention. And we have a ball up. Cruiser can really set the tone of the game with his ruck work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. He slams that on the boot. Lang marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Tapped by Cripps. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. Simpson has the chance to add one more to his tower. The lead handed over to Carlton. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Lewenberger with the mighty fist. Mullet with the ball. Saad presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Taken by McDonald, Tip and Woody. Boots it. The contest, no match for him. 45 metres out. Danaher with a kick at goal. Danaher executes the goal well. Essendon steal back the lead. Danaher really wears his heart on his sleeve. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Cruiser hits it. He gets tackled as he hands it off. The ball is socket. Tapped by Lewenberger. He passes just before he's taken down by Fantasia. Green keeps it alive with a foot. Ah, it's hit the woodwork. Bad luck for McGrath. Only one goal the difference. The Bombers can't afford to get too comfortable here. Doherty has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Wright puts his boot on it. Good mark. Cripps kicks the ball. He grabs it. He slams that on the boot. He claims the ball. Ambrose kicks it out on the full. Wright puts it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Chips it down towards half forward. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Chips it down towards half forward. Nice mark there. This will square it up. Takes control of the ball. Hartley plays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. Only the smallest of margins in it now. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Punch by Blumenberger. The ball in the hands of D. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Oh, what a kick. What a strong mark. Boots it. That's a ripper. He kicks it. Stunning. When you need someone to stand up and be counted, he's certainly done that. That's two now. He's playing well. Danaher can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. First hand's important. Guided by Blaine. Hartley taps. McKenna with the mighty fist. Jones aims for his man on the ground. Kolyuk with a clinical drop punt. 
A long kick there. A mark by Danaher. He kicks it. Football is not and never has claimed to be a fair game. The Bombers by seven points. Doherty waiting to bring it back into play. Nice mark there. He kicks it. Fantasia. The Bombers in front. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Cruiser got the hit out. A favourable bounce. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Here's Richo with his stats. The Bombers with 54 kicks and the Blues with 53 kicks. Second half is underway. Champions aren't made in gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. Ambrose racking up the possessions. Bagley on for Essendon. Claimed by Cruiser. Murphy onto the ball. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Wright has it. Puts boot to ball. Nice mark under pressure. Gets boot to high. Takes it well. Chip kick along the wing. Cripps marks it. Cripps is a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on field around him. Lang looking for distance. Good mark. He gets boot to the ball. One down by Cruiser. Graham controls. He's got the footy in his hands. Hipple picks it up. Goes short with a hand pass. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Nice hands. McGrath with a 45 degree angle in front of him. Shot at goal by McGrath. Goal. McGrath with his second goal. And that puts them further in front. The Bombers could score the last three goals. Essendon by 19. Lewenberger with a big fist on it. Murphy passes it. Handballs from the tackle. Gives it to the running man. Trims the grass with that one. Tap by Graham. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. The ball is smothered. Out of bounds it goes. The umpire says throw it in. The ball has been thrown in. The Bombers are really trailing in the clearance count. They might want to target this as an area to improve, but it's not really being reflected on the scoreboard. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. He picked it up off the ground. He goes for home. Gleason with the kick. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. The ball heads out of bounds. The ball is returned to play. Lewenberger with the first touch. He gets his hands on the footy. Hippel did not ease up. Wright gets a nice bump from Saad. He controls the bouncing ball. Jams it on the boot. Sockers the ball away. Cherno Campbell short. Kruzik puts it on the boot. Strong mark. Slams it on the boot. Lang lining up. Sends it on its way. Cherno enjoying a height advantage. 35 metres out. Having a big day going for goal number four. Big trouble for Carlton. They need to kick a few now. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Cruiser hits it. He controls the bouncing ball. Deft touch from Danaher. Kicks hurriedly. Lang decisively. Jams it on the boot. Lewenberger with no time to delay with that kick. Smith goes back to collect the ball. A free kick. And several ticks. Danaher looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Danaher has so much potential, he could just be anything. Wow, we got a huge kick. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Cruiser seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. McDonald tip and Woody takes the mark uncontested. He takes a strong mark. Goddard puts his boot on it, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Peppel kicks it. The mark will be paid. Danaher drives the ball towards goal. 
Danaher just makes the goal line. This kick stretches the lead. Essendon by 25. All is in readiness. Definitely palmed to advantage. With the ball now. Deep gets a hard bump from Cruiser. Hand pass by Hooker. Hippel running in, about to kick. An easy grab for Fantasia. 40 metres from home. Fantasia drives the ball towards goal. That's two in a row for the Bombs. Essendon leads by 31. Casbolt without a touch. The clearance by Hooker manages to get a hand to it. Smith with the shot. He picks up the loose ball. Doherty taps it. Goddard gets the ball. In the back. They should dust him for fingerprints. Nice work from Danaher. A long way out. Going for goal number five. Marked by Doherty. Kicks. Marks. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Danaher going for number five. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richo? One word, Dennis. Disgraceful. Doherty is one of those talented players with a golden boot. His kicks are fantastic. He plays the ball to himself. He gets boot to the ball. Fantasia marks it. Fantasia goes for home. Fantasia, wonderful goal. All is in readiness. Hit by Casbo. Able to grab it on the half volley. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Huge leap. Lang. Decisively. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Hartley taps it. Deep made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Casbo outstretches his opponent to win the right. Danaher gathers it. Smith, feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Rowe intercepts the bouncing ball. Nice mark under pressure. Jones, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. The siren will blow any time now. Phillips by hand. Mullet tackles him to the ground. He picked it up off the ground. Danaher has the football. It's been intercepted by the opposition. He's got a handball away. Lang takes the mark. He hand passes the ball. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? A real arm wrestle out there with the possession stats at 51% to 49%. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. Both teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. It ain't over till it's over. Bump by Grips. Mullet is getting the ball again and again. Deep kicks it out of the congestion. Silvanic, the better man there, gets boot to high. Saad claims it. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Heppel doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. He's got a hold of that one. Danaher with good strong hands. Gee, a long kick there. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. McGrath slams one on the boot for goal. He'll be happy with that. McGrath gets number three. That's three in a row for Essendon. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Definitely palmed to advantage. Kruzik taps it. Goddard controls it. Murphy foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. Goddard sends one up towards the wing. Nice hands. Jams it on the boot now. Lewenberger grabs that one. He puts some power into that kick. Nice contested mark by Heppel. Heppel has so much potential, he could just be anything. Lobby boots it. McKenna gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. He drops the mark. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. Choose to kick it. Takes that one strongly. Heppel is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. He boots it. Fantasia with real good use of the body. Fantasia kicks for goal straight into the post. 
Essendon by 45. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Doherty directing the play, sends it outside the 50. 50 metres out, a set shot on a 30 degree angle. 50 metres out, Danaher with a fairly straight shot at goal. Pinpoint accuracy from Danaher, this kick stretches the lead. The Bombers have scored the last four goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Kruzik is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Lewenberger. Just in time with that kick. The bouncing ball is controlled. Hand passes. Inside 50 by Kennedy. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Goal for Wittering. The margin's big, but there's still enough time left to play. Wittering needs to practice his goal-kicking routine. It helps the player handle any situation in the game. If he does that more often, then he might enter the league of the elite goal kickers. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 50 metres from home. A chance to add one more to his tally. The Bombers get a goal. The lead has been increased by McDonald and Kippen Woody. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Lewenberger directs it down, deep onto the ball, gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Smith can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Danaher goes for goal. Perfect kick. The Bombers are really looking the goods with the lead over the Blues. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Cruiser gets onto the ball. That was a gutsy effort. Lang has an injury. Can you tell us more, Richard? He looks to be in a lot of pain. He'll be going off now, definitely. Murphy onto the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Jams it on the boot now. Graham marks it. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Puts boot to ball. Wittering was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Going for goal number two. Wittering did well then. That's number two. The Blues players with massive smiles on their faces now. They needed that. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Cleared by Cruiser. Casbolt aims for his man on the ground. Ball up in the center square. Cruiser has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Graham slams the ball to his boot. He gets boot to the ball. Simpson takes the mark. 45 metres out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Nice goal from Simpson. They've got to start swinging like a 70s disco to get anywhere near from here. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Cruiser got a fist on it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Bump by D. Intercepted. Choose to kick it. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Great mark. Cruiser is good but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He kicks the ball. Heppel with the mark. He boots it. It's a mark. McDonald tip and Woody slams the ball to his boot. Levy puts it on the boot. A big run to take that back. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He's got the football now. Great mark under pressure. He kicks quickly. Nice work from Murphy. Out on the full. The Bombers free kick. Bumps the big skin. Saab wins the marking contest. Boots it. Cripps beats the hand pass out. Graham handing it back now. Over the years, he's forged his reputation on courage and smelling salts. That looks nasty. He'll be rushed to the rooms for medical treatment. Don't think, though, he'll be coming back. Chernoak will realize the precarious position his team faces and knows he must convert. Well, it helps with pride, but it doesn't do much as far as the scoreboard's concerned. Cruiser gets onto the ball. Hartley gets the ball. Lewenberger on the ball at the moment. Hippel has had plenty of it, Richo. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. It's like he has the ball on a string. Scoops up the ball. Nice work from Danaher. Sends the Sharon on its way.
listen, here's the thing. This game was over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Bombers and the Blues? Very one-sided affair. Thanks, Richo. At the end of the game, the scores are the Bombers 112, Carlton 73. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.